Hi everyone. Hi Anahata Yoga community and to all of you who are new and joining us for the first time today. I miss seeing those of you that I get to see on a regular basis, but I'm really glad that I get to at least be here with you through online video. Today I'll be guiding you in gentle yoga and sound healing. For today's practice, we'll be staying down on the ground. So you can find a comfortable spot in your home or wherever you're at with a little bit of cushion, a soft surface beneath you. You don't need to have a yoga mat. You can just lay your blankets, find a carpet or a rug that feels comfortable for you. Now, if you don't have yoga blankets, towels are fine. You can grab three or four, three or four bath towels and a face towel is really nice in place of an eye pillow if you don't have an eye pillow. And for times when we lay down on our back, you can also have a pillow to support your head if you need that as well. For those of you that like essential oils or rose spray, go ahead and grab that. Spray your space or put on your essential oils. Kind of set the tone in the room. In the description of today's class, there is a link for the Save a Project, and this is a nonprofit, and all proceeds, all donations from that help to support the community, teachers, and staff. So if you're able to, um, you can donate to the Save a Project. If not, keep spreading the love everywhere um, that you can, right? Since we're not really able to go too many places, spread the love online. Now, get comfortable. We're going to start seated. <clears throat> and if you need to, you can put a pillow or stacked blankets or towels underneath your seat to lift the hips up a little bit if you feel any pressure in your low back or your hamstrings. And sitting up tall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's take a side breath. You can close your eyes. We're going to take a minute here initially to settle. If you feel that you need to do anything else to make your space comfortable, if you feel that you need to set up some music for yourself, grab your water, any last minute props. Turning off your cell phone sounds or calls if you can. Check in with your space. I'm recording today from my home studio. I imagine as I sit here guiding your practice, imagining all of you guys practicing right along with me. We're in this together. If you're just settling in or sitting comfortably, you don't have to sit cross-legged. You can sit with your legs extended out in front of you. Readjust so you're comfortable. Sit tall if that's available to you. Closing the eyes or soft gaze, take another side breath. Inhale through the nose. Let it go. Settle into the space that you're in. If there are any distractions, allowing the distractions to fall into the background. Settle into your body. Feel all the areas of the body that are touching the floor, supported by the earth. The spine elongated, the top of the head reaching to the sky. Take a moment to acknowledge yourself that you showed up here for yourself, for your practice. 
Acknowledge your fellow yogis, those that you know at Anahata, those that are practicing here with us, those that are maybe joining for the first time. Energetically acknowledge each other. Acknowledging your family, your friends, your community, humanity. Feel that connection to yourself through your breath. As you begin to deepen the breath and feel that connection to all the living beings. Deepen your breath. Placing one or both hands at the lower belly, below the navel, belly breath. Letting the inhale gently drop the navel forward, the belly expands. And as you exhale, gently draw the navel back. Using your breath as a way to help further steady and ground you which is the intention of our practice today. You can stay here continuing your belly breath or bring the hands up to heart center, stacking one hand on top of the other and building the breath up towards the heart space. The heart space the chakra, the energy wheel that's associated to the heart space is known as anahata. Just like your anahata community. Feeling the breath build from the base up towards the heart space. The heart remains energetically lifted and buoyant even as you let the breath go. Feel the breath build from the base up, from the top down. And you can keep your hands like this or bring the palms together, Anjali Mudra, letting the base knuckles of the thumbs rest at the sternum. The heart floats up a little more. We'll do three rounds of OM. You can join, you can hum, or you can just listen. Let's first inhale together. Let it go. And inhale. Seeing the hands to the lap. If you're sitting cross-legged, I recommend changing the cross of your legs. We'll be sitting here for about two to three more minutes. For those of you familiar with Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breath, or also known as the Nadi's cleansing breath, the energy channel cleansing breath, where you guys can go ahead and start. For those of you that are new to it, I'll walk us through it and I'll be mirroring you. So using your right hand, you'll bring the pointer finger and middle finger in towards the palm. The palm faces the nose. The thumb closes off the right nostril. The outer edge of, or the inner edge of the ring finger will close off the left nostril. Now, if this is not available to you with your hands, you can do just the thumb and the pointer finger instead. If you have any difficulty breathing today, if your sinuses are having a tough time, allergies, whatever it may be, you can just visualize the breath moving 
alternating nostrils as I guide us through it without actually physically closing off the nostril. So sitting tall, setting the hand, and we begin closing off the right nostril, inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. That's one cycle, let's keep going. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Using your belly breath or full deep breath, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Continue on your own. Nadi Shodhana. Now this pranayama, this breathing technique can help to calm the brain, can help to ease insomnia. If you find yourself at night having a difficult time sleeping, you can sit up in bed and do Nadi Shodhana. Great for calming the nervous system. Clearing, moving energy. Keep going if you can. Deepening the breath with ease if that's available to you today. Keep going. About three more rounds. Completing the last round, you're on by exhaling through the left nostril. Take your time to get there. When that's complete, you can release the hand. Two to three deep breaths here. Again, take your time. And when you feel ready, we're going to transition to laying down. For those of you that feel comfortable lying flat on your back, go ahead and lay down and hug the knees into the chest. If you need extra support for your spine or for your head, you can grab your pillow for the head. Just make sure your head isn't lifted and angled too harshly with the neck. You can also take a blanket roll or towel, roll towel, placing that underneath the knees for support. This helps with the low back. And finding your way all the way down. And once you're here, we again meet with the knees, hugging into the chest, holding around the shins. If that's too much on the knees, holding behind the thighs. Take a few breaths here. Sigh if you need to.
And then stretch the legs out, maybe taking a full body stretch, reaching the arms up overhead, pointing out through toes, through fingers. Take a sigh or a yawn. <sighs> Wiggle toes and fingers and release the arms by your sides. Letting the back of the heels rest to the floor, rock the legs internally, externally, and then relax the legs, let the feet flop open. This is the pose that we usually do at the end of class, known as Shavasana, as corpse pose. But right now, taking a minute here to settle into the shape, to settle a little bit more into our bodies and feel the support of the earth beneath us. You can close your eyes and reestablish your full deep breath, letting the inhale build from the belly up into the ribs and the chest and releasing from the chest all the way down to the belly. So if you can breathe with conscious awareness, you're doing yoga. Full deep breathing like this has numerous benefits. Our body craves to breathe like this. And every smooth, steady breath, you're telling your system that it's okay to relax. Now, if this is what you feel you need for the entire practice, just stay here. That's okay. Honor where you're at today. Otherwise, if you feel ready to move, start by wiggling toes and fingers. Eyes can stay closed. Open and close the hands a few times as if you're squeezing sponges. Rock the head side to side. Point and flex the feet. Create light fists with the hands and draw circles with the fists, feeling that in the wrist. Reverse the direction of the hand circles. Keep pointing and flexing the feet, melting away tension. And then relax the arms by your sides. If you have the space, you can bring your arms out into letter T with the palms up or into cactus with the palms up, bent at the elbows, back of the hands to the floor. Otherwise, I'll be demonstrating with my arms by my sides, palms up, setting up for windshield wipers, bend the knees, feet to the floor. Let the feet be wider than the hips. If you have your yoga mat, you can have your feet on the outer edges of the yoga mat and start to gently sway the knees side to side. Feeling that movement in the hips, the gentle massage in the low back and match your breath. Every time the knees go down to the side, it's an exhale. When they come up through center, it's an inhale. Now continue this motion with the legs, but the next time the legs come up through center, bring the legs in closer towards each other, towards midline, closer than the hips if possible, and continue that swaying motion side to side, starting to bring this movement a little further up the spine. And then return the legs to center. If you had support underneath the knees, you might find it helpful to move that support off to the side. And then setting up for a twist, pressing down through the feet, lift the hips up, glide the hips to the right, lower them down, and then let the knees drop to the opposite direction to the left. This keeps the spine in line, top of the head with the pelvic floor, and maybe pivot the head to the right and breathe here. If at any point you need a safety stop for the body, you can put a blanket underneath the bottom leg, bringing the floor a little bit closer to you. Three more breaths here, twisting out whatever doesn't serve us, further releasing tension and gripping and anchoring ourselves with the breath. Bring yourself up to center. Readjust to midline. Take a breath here. Sigh if you need to. And we switch sides. Press down through the feet. Float the hips up and then to the left. Lower the hips down gently and then slowly drop the knees to the right. Gaze can go to the opposite direction and we breathe here.
Easy breathing. Let the breath move with ease. One more. Letting yourself unwind with the exhale. Slowly come back to center. Readjust to midline. Pause here. Take a breath. Full body stretch. This time interlace the fingers. Roll the palms open away from the top of the head. Point through the feet. Take another breath. Yawn or sigh. <sighs> Slowly release the arms by your sides. And again, re-bend the knees, feet to the floor this time. The legs are about hip width apart. And draw the right knee into the chest. I'm working on the same side as you know. Point and flex now just the right foot. If you wish, you can extend the opposite leg straight out on the floor. Make sure those toes are pointing up towards the sky and then continue with moving the right foot, drawing circles with it, feeling that in the ankle. And then right hand to the knee, left hand to the left hip point or to the floor, and then draw knee circles. So you're guiding the right knee around its hip. You don't have to use the hand here. You can just use it if you feel that you need that extra support for the body. I like to use it because it helps me to kind of relax the movement or relax the muscles in the leg for the movement. Reverse direction, feeling that in the hip joint. And squeeze the right knee in towards the chest. And then keeping the left knee bent, foot to the floor, we meet there if you're not already there, coming into number four. Right ankle goes on the opposite thigh. Hands can go to the belly or arms by your sides, letter T or cactus. Let the right knee fall away from you and keep the right ankle strong. So we want to prevent it from sickling. All right, so the center of the knee tracks through the second toe of its foot on the right leg. Keeping the ankle squared. Three to four more breaths here. So if you're new to the practice, don't worry so much about all the cues. Just make sure that you're feeling comfortable in your movements, that you're working safely within your edges and using the deep, deep breaths to support your system. Now with number four, rocking the leg side to side, you can go as far as you want to each side. If you want the foot to touch down to the floor, you can allow it as long as that feels okay on your hips and back. Keep rocking the leg side to side. All this movement with the lower part of the body, feeling our back against the earth, all this has a very grounding and rooting effect on our body and our energy system. When that feels complete for you, return to center, keeping number four. You can stay here or interlace your hands behind the left thigh, drawing the left knee in towards the body and the right knee presses away. Two more breaths, wherever you're at. Relax the jaw. Now slowly release the left foot to the floor. Draw the right knee in towards the chest to release number four. Keep hugging the knee in towards the body. If it's available to you, hug the knee down towards the right underarm, towards the outer edges of the right ribs, anchoring the knee towards the floor. Setting up for half happy baby, you can take your right arm, thread it on the inside of the right leg and hold the outer edge of the right foot at the sole of the foot. If you find your shoulders lifting up too high, draw the right shoulder blade down towards the floor. If this is too much on your body, you can hold the outer edge of the shin or behind the thigh. Two more breaths here. Keep the left hip anchored down. Every exhale helps us to release gripping. Feel yourself breathing. And slowly draw the right knee in towards the chest. You can keep the left leg as it is or extend the left leg all the way out, setting up for our hamstring stretch. Interlace both hands behind the right thigh. You can use just one hand or no hands. 
As you inhale, straighten the right leg up towards the sky, pressing up through the heel, and exhale, bend the knee in towards the chest. And do this a few more times. The inhale straightens the leg to the best of your ability. Exhale, bring it in. So notice as you go through today's class, if at any point you find the breath hindered, you might be pushing yourself too far. We want to stay within the edges of the movements, the safety edges where we can still breathe, and then trust the process. As we move, as we breathe, the gripping, the tension will dissolve, creating a little more space and freedom in the body. Now the next time the right leg is straight up towards the sky or to the best that you can do today, it's okay. Point and flex the foot, keeping the leg straight. Draw circles with the foot, reverse direction. And then hug the right knee in towards the chest. If it's available to you with your neck, float the forehead up towards the knee, take a breath. And slowly release the head, slide the right leg long, full body stretch, sigh or yawn. <sighs> and we switch sides, rebend both knees, relax the hips, let them settle, and then hug the left knee in towards the chest. Now you can stay like this, or the right leg can extend all the way out, just depends on you and your body. Bring your attention again to the left leg, draw circles with the left foot, point and flex the left foot. It's really organic movement, working with our feet, helping ourselves to root and ground, balancing our system. And then left hand on the left knee, right hand to the right hip or to the floor, draw circles with the left knee, guiding it around the hip. Reverse direction. These movements can help to keep the joints lubricated, can help with our mobility. Every gentle movement here today, every steady breath helps the body to release tension and holding. Hug the knee in towards the chest. Now, if the opposite leg is extended, re-bend the knee, foot to the floor, come into number four on this side, and breathe here. And rock the legs side to side in your number four. Relax the muscles of the face. Keep breathing. Come back to center. You can stay here or interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Hug the right knee in towards the body. The left knee presses away, mindful of the left ankle. Steady breath. And slowly release the right foot to the floor. Hug the left knee in towards the chest to release the shape. And working towards half happy baby on the side, the left knee hugging down towards the left underarm. You can hold the outer edge of the left foot, the calf on the outer edge or behind the thigh, taking the variation that works for you at this moment. Left shoulder blade stays down on the floor. Right knee is pointing up towards the sky or the right leg is again extended. Whichever your position you're in, keep breathing. Navel rises on the inhale. Navel drops on the exhale. Every breath creating an anchor for the mind. Settle. Hug the knee in towards the chest. Setting up for the hamstring stretch. Interlace your hands behind the left thigh. Both hands, one hand or no hands. Opposite leg can extend with those toes pointing up towards the sky. With your inhale, straighten the leg to the best of your ability, pressing out through the heel. Exhale, bring the knee in towards the chest. Keep breathing. Matching the breath and movement. Shaking is really normal here. So 
long as it's not painful. Now, if our body needs us to stop, it usually will show us, you know, um, areas where there's pain. It'll talk to us that way. So pain means you need to readjust. Now, for those of you that live with chronic pain, what we're looking for in that case is that when you've completed the movements, that you haven't worsened the chronic pain. Another breath. Breathe. Leg goes straight up towards the sky. Point and flex the foot. Draw circles with it. Feel the breath. Reverse direction of the foot circles. And hug the knee in towards the chest. Maybe float the forehead up to meet the knee. Take a breath. Slowly release the head down. Slide the leg long. Take a full body stretch. Take a few moments here to move and stretch in a way that calls out to you. What do you need to bring yourself more into balance to further root and ground yourself emotionally, physically? Another breath. And slowly release the arms by your sides. If you're not already there, legs extended out, bounce the knees. This can help with releasing tension as well and moving energy. Can also help if you're finding that you're feeling anxious and the body is gripping. Keep bouncing the knees, two to three more breaths. And then creating gentle fists with the hands and slow, uh, easily, maybe this is not the right word, but with the pressure that feels right for you, hitting the fists against the floor, feeling that movement through the arms, smiling if you need to. And then loosen up the body, taking again Shavasana pose for a moment, deep breathing. If you need to for your back, you can bend the knees, feet to the floor, feet wider than hips, let the knees touch at midline. Breathe. Catch your breath. Maybe a light smile across the face, relaxing the muscles of the face. Take a deep breath in, side out, and slowly roll over into the fetal position on your comfortable side. Take care to support your head and pause here. Deep in the breath. If you need more time here, you can stay. Otherwise, using the strength of your top arm, that hand pressing into the floor, inhale to slowly bring yourself up through your side and transition into table, all fours, coming onto your hands and knees. Now the wrists land underneath the shoulders, the fingers wide. If this is too much pressure on the wrists, walk the hands forward about half an inch. Knees land underneath the hips, thigh bones parallel. Start with the tops of the feet to the floor. Moving from the tailbone, inhale, tailbone curves up, belly drops, heart gaze forward. This is known as cow. And then as you exhale, round the spine, cat. Inhale, tailbone scoops up, belly drops, heart gaze forward. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, chin to chest. A few more. This is flexion extension of the spine, feeling the movement of breath, the movement of energy along the spine, the hips, the muscles in the hips loosening, toning, stretching. Two more. Now continuing that same movement with the spine, but adding one more move, the inhale, belly drops, heart gaze forward. As you exhale, do so through cat, and then press your hips to heels, feeling the stretch in the tops of the ankles. Inhale, glide forward into cow. 
exhale round and press back two more Continuing this movement with the body, but tuck the toes under the inhale, still cow. Exhale through cat, press back, hips to heels, feeling the stretch in the bottoms of the feet. Inhale, glide forward. Exhale, round and press back. Two more. Now the next time that you come up to table, release the breath and then untuck the toes, bring the legs in towards midline, at least closer than the hips. If they can touch at midline, that's fine. If they can't, that's fine. Setting up for a hip release, widen the hands slightly, fingers are wide, draw the low belly in towards the spine, relax the heart down and the neck is holding the head. Inhale here. As you exhale, hips towards the right, keep the knees on the floor, inhale up, center, exhale left. The inhale through midline, exhale to the side. Elbows can bend if needed, keep the hands on the floor. Your gaze is about one foot on center, on midline, from the hands. So two more to each side. Notice where you feel this. Notice how it feels for you in your body. When that feels even to both sides, return to midline, big toes stay touching, widen the knees, sit back to the heels. Now, if you need to, you can put support underneath the, to um, the tops of the ankles, a towel or blanket here. You can also put a towel or blanket, your pillow between your hips and heels and then walk your hands out in front of you. Forehead needs to touch down to something. The floor, your stacked fists, or stacked pillow or blanket. We'll be here for about a minute. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. And breathe. The shape helps with calming the brain, it can help to release discomforts in the spine. And see if you can feel the sitting bones rooted down towards the earth. Keep breathing. Surrender a little bit more, deepen the breath a little bit more. Relax the heart. If you need more time here, you can stay. Otherwise, press your hands into the floor and then bring yourself up to table. Let the breath go as you readjust. And working towards opposites, balancing tiger pose. Curl the toes under to start, level the spine, relatively parallel to the floor, and extend the right leg straight out behind you. Keep the toes on the floor. First, doing three leg pushbacks here, inhale here, and as you exhale, press the mat away from you, keep the hips level to the floor, inhale, shoulders return over the wrists, not past them, exhale, push the mat away, stretching into the extended leg, one more, inhale, and exhale. Shoulders return over the wrists, working towards our tiger pose. You can stay here. Maybe the left hand comes out a little bit in front of you on fingertips. Maybe the left arm lifts up off the ground, parallel to the floor. Maybe the right leg lifts. Lifted palm facing midline, lifted toes pointing down. Another breath wherever you're at. Seesaw effect here is normal, shaking is normal. And slowly exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Extend the left leg out. 
Toes on the floor tucked under, level the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, push the mat away from you. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Shoulders return over the wrists, building tiger pose. Maybe the right hand comes out in front of you on fingertips. Maybe the arm lifts, maybe the leg lifts. Keep breathing. If you find that you're really collapsing in the low back, draw the navel in toward the spine. Another breath, smile if you need to, keep breathing. Slowly release, table and child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide, sit back to the heel, support yourself as necessary. And again, we'll be here for about a minute. You can take the palms together, keep the elbows on the floor and rest the back of the hands on the base of the skull. Not to confuse anybody, resting the hands at the base of the skull. There we go, side breath. Few more breaths. If you need more time here, you can stay otherwise. Release the hands to the floor, walk yourself up to table, let the breath go. And slowly come on to your seat. We will be opening our legs out wide. I recommend grabbing a folded towel or your pillow, something to sit on and bring yourself up a little bit higher. Now, if you're choosing to do this, we also want to have support underneath the knees. So the legs will open out wide and then putting support under the knees to prevent hyperextension at those joints. And then the hands can go behind you, sitting tall, relaxing the gaze. Check in with your posture. If needed, you can use your hands to help move the glutes out from under you, sitting tall, and point and flex the feet, keeping the back of the heels connected to the floor. Keep breathing. A few more, point and flex, keeping the center of the knee, tracking through the second toe of its foot, or between the second and third toe. Now the toes pointing up, you can stay here, or you can bring the hands out in front of you. Now, if you want to fold forward, you wanna feel the pelvis tilt forward, so more weight is on the front end of the sitting bones, and walk the hands forward. Now, if you're sitting up higher and you're flexible, we're not trying to get ourselves all the way down to the floor, in that case, you'll move the cushion that's underneath your seat and then bring yourself all the way down. Otherwise, just finding an angle that feels right for you. You can tent the hands, keeping the fingertips on the floor, lengthening the spine, hinging at the hips, coming forward. Go only as far as feels available to you today. Keep breathing. Make sure the shoulder blades are hugging towards the spine, leading forward with the base of the breastbone. Sitting bones rooted. When we take our forward folds, this can help to calm the nervous system. And now see if you can breathe in such a way that you feel the breath build from the pelvic floor up. So the inhale builds up. The exhale releases down. About eight to 10 more breaths here. Breathing deeply deeply and steadily. Relax the muscles of the face. A 
You might find that your body opens up a little bit if that's the case, maybe folding a little further, but without force. Keep the breath moving. Feel the earth supporting you. Feel yourself grounded. Edges of the body relax, the skin soft. About two to three more breaths. Take a breath in wherever you're at. Side out. Slowly walk the hands in, returning yourself upright. Release the breath here. And then hands go behind the knees, bending the knees so the feet touch down to the floor. You can move the knee support off to the side. And then lean back on the hands, lift the heart, and take one-legged windshield wipers. I'm mirroring you. Right leg drops in towards the left ankle. Bring it up and then switch sides. If you're sitting up high on support, this might kind of walk you off that support. That's normal. One leg at a time. Try to keep the other leg fairly stationary. If this doesn't feel good, just don't do it. Keep breathing. Uh, one more on each side. And come up. And bring the soles of the feet together, bound angle. You can again use your towel or blanket support on either side of the legs. Holding at the base of the knees to start, sit tall. Depending on where you're at, maybe bringing the hands to the ankles, bringing the heels in as close as available to the body. And sitting tall, dropping the gaze at the tip of the nose, up to the third eye, closing the eyes, or just relaxing the gaze. Deep breath in, side out. Now stay here or hinging at the hips, folding forward, having the soles of the feet pressing together, the knees pressing away, and hands go to the floor out in front of you. Keep the shoulder blades hugging towards the spine. Four more breaths, deep breaths. And walk the hands in, return to upright, draw the knees together as if closing a book, and then separate the legs again, this time full windshield wipers, seated windshield wipers side to side. We're not necessarily trying to touch the floor here, do that only if it feels okay for your body. About one more to each side. And when that feels complete, return to center. You can come off your support from here, making your way down to Shavasana. And for Shavasana, for corpse pose, you want to make yourself as comfortable as possible. You can grab your rolled blanket or towel for underneath the knees. You can stack two here. You can put support underneath your head, a pillow that's not lifting the head up too much so you're not having too much um, pressure in the neck. You can also just use a towel and roll that up for underneath the cervical spine. Maybe a blanket or towel for across the hips. If you have your sandbag, that works too. So we want to place the knees over the towel, bringing yourself down. The roll underneath the neck if you're doing it this way, otherwise setting up your pillow or simply the back of the head to the floor. Extra support for across the hips or the whole body. And then also you can grab your eye towel and your eye pillow and make any other movements that you need to so that you're really comfortable. Check in, what else do you need? What helps you to further support your own system, grounding, rooting, balancing? If at any point you experience emotion, it's normal, allow it to come up. When it's coming up, it wants to be witnessed. 
And that way it can go in its own time, be integrated. You can always roll to your comfortable side instead of lying on your back. You can sit in meditation. Check in with what you need. For those of you that are being drawn to do bound angle here, you'll move the knee support closer towards you, soles of the feet together, knees drop open. Make sure there's support so that the body can remain relaxed, the hips, the muscles aren't working to keep the legs up. And once you've found your comfortable spot, deep breath in. Let it go. I'll be playing the singing bowls. And then at the end, you'll hear chimes. And when you hear the chimes, you can remain there, keep listening. I'll play them for a little bit. Relax the weight of the body. Surrender the weight of the body to gravity. Let it go. Release all control. Release expectations and judgment. Let them go. Let your body drop into stillness. Take a few conscious deep breaths here, feeling the inhale fill the body and feel the exhale go, releasing anything that no longer serves you. A few more deep breaths. And begin to release control even of the breath. Let the breath move on its own. And all you have to do here now is allow yourself to just be. Let go.
and awareness returns to the breath. Remaining still if you can and deep in the breath. See if you could feel your whole body breathing. Feel yourself grounded, rooted, supported. Feel the heart space. See if you can feel the heart space open, as open as comfortable for you at this moment. The heart open through all conditions. Life force flowing freely through your whole being, deep in the breath. If you need more time where you're at, you can stay. Otherwise, begin to gently wiggle the toes and the fingers. Open and close the hands, point and flex the feet. Rock the head side to side. Maybe a full body stretch, feeling the stretch through the spine. And then either windshield wipers or hug the knees into the chest, waking up the hips and the back. Gentle movements. Rolling over to your comfortable side, resting in the fetal position and pause there. Observe how you feel without judgment, expectation, or control. Just notice. When you feel ready, keeping the eyes closed, if you can, bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Placing one hand at the lower belly, Below the navel, one hand on heart center. The breath building from the base up, going from the top down. Feeling your connection to yourself through the breath. The link. Feeling again your connection to your fellow yogis, your Anahata community, your family, your friends, humanity. Breathe into the space that surrounds you. And the hands come together at heart center, gentle pressure between the palms. The heart floats up a little more. And with gratitude, we close with one collective om. Receive your breath. Om. Bowing head to heart in honor of each other, ourselves and this practice. It's an absolute honor to be able to guide you today in this session, in this practice, even from a distance. Remember that you're not alone. Please feel free to reach out with any questions, comments. You can message us and the Save a Project link for donations is below. But most importantly, keep that connection to yourself. Remember, 
your connection to each other. And let the breath move with ease from my heart to yours. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Love to you all. Namaste.